Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. I just need to show you guys this mind-blowing recipe. Melt in your mouth meatballs in a creamy tomato sauce. It's so easy to make and it'll leave you drooling for days. Just mince up four garlic cloves and one small onion. Put that to the side and in a large bowl combine a half cup of Italian breadcrumbs and two thirds cups of milk. You can use half and half, heavy cream or regular milk, just don't use any kind of sweet milk like almond milk or anything like that. Then dump a package of ground turkey in there and add the minced onion and garlic. Crack one egg. Add a fourth a cup of Parmesan cheese and a half cup of fresh parsley. Then season with two tablespoons of seasoned salt, one tablespoon of chili powder, and one tablespoon of thyme. Give this a good mix to make sure everything is well combined. And now here comes the fun part. Scoop up a tablespoon of that mixture and portion it out on your cookie sheet. Then we're gonna smooth it out. Fill a small bowl with water, then dip your fingers in there and start smoothing out the edges of the meatball. Make sure your oven is preheating at 400 degrees, then pop these things inside the oven for 35 minutes. Then pour 24 ounces of a tomato basil sauce into a saucepan. Splash a quarter cup of heavy cream and one teaspoon of salt and one teaspoon of pepper. Add one can of fire roasted diced tomatoes, give it a good stir, then just let it simmer on low until the meatballs are done in the oven. Be sure to check the description box for all of the ingredients that I used. Take a screenshot of that, make sure you have it all in your kitchen, and if you don't, just take yourself to the grocery store and make it a quick trip, I got you. Let these meatballs simmer in the sauce for about 15 minutes. This is going to absorb all of that flavor from the sauce into the meatball. It's going to make it so soft and delicious and just a ball of flavor. It's so good, guys. I can't wait for you to try it. All I'm doing here is just preparing some angel hair pasta. This only takes about four minutes to make. To take this pasta up a notch, I'm mixing it with a tablespoon of butter, one tablespoon of seasoned salt, and two tablespoons of Parmesan cheese. This is just one way to serve the meatballs. You can also make it into a sandwich. These meatballs are seriously the best meatballs I've ever had, guys. I'm literally drooling right now. Finish this off with some freshly grated Parmesan cheese and parsley. There we have it, my friends. The best meatballs you'll probably ever have in your life. Just enjoy. Please make sure to give this video a thumbs up and leave a comment if you enjoyed it. I'll see you next time.